Incels, short for involuntary celibates, refer to straight men, that are defined by their inability to find love, or to have a sexual relationship with women. These men have taken their misogynistic beliefs online, where they spew out their violent ideology, which, in short, is based on how they are entitled to sex, but suffer injustice by women who refuse them the pleasure. Incels refer to these type of women as Stacy's, and the men who have sex with these women, men who are conventionally handsome and charismatic, are known as Chads. Incels openly describe themselves as unattractive, isolated, anxious, and socially inept. Whereas women, on the whole, are described as irresponsibly promiscuous, manipulative, and disgusting. Ironically, the term incel originated from a woman's involuntary celibacy project in the 1990s, where she outlined how disastrous she was at forming meaningful relationships with men. Some 20 years later, the term is now used in this stark subculture of misogyny, which, at times, has connections to white supremacy. Some believe society plays a role in the molding of an incel, and how they view women. Their argument is that society, as a whole, grant allowances, and sympathize with men who are lonely and looking for love. They point at the countless male characters in romantic comedies and how everyone roots for them to get the girl, not because they are worthy of the girl, but rather, just because they want to have them. In the movies, their persistence is seen as romantic and playful, which might not be true if in reality. There have been many debates on the equality of the sexes, and how they are viewed differently. Many argue that women are pressurized, and made to feel as if they owe men sex and companionship, especially when on a date, and money is spent. Some argue that modern men have grown up in a culture that tells them women inherently owe them privileges. These arguments, whether they hold validity or not, are not pertinent when talking about incels. Incels, especially those who act on their beliefs, are not just men who feel wrong, or men who have grown up with inappropriate values. Incels hate women, they despise them. They also hate themselves, because they desperately want a meaningful relationship with women, but are unable. Instead of looking at themselves and figuring out why they are so unsuccessful with the opposite sex, they instead, destroy the cause of their pain. Whilst most incels keep their disgustingly misguided ideologies in the safe anonymous confines of the internet, some do act out their fantasies, and they pose a great risk to society. Governments around the world now describe incels as extremists, and use anti-terror laws to prosecute them. In the last seven years, at least 55 deaths have been officially attributed to incel-perpetrated attacks, as well as many more that are also left severely injured. In a 2021 interview, psychological therapist, Emma Kenny, spoke on the subject of incels. She said, Men who lend themselves to incel ideologies, see women as disposable possessions, rather than human beings. Their entitlement, and egocentricity, mean they believe they should have certain things, and they feel they're being refused these things by unjust women who they view as shallow and fickle. They're also deeply insecure about themselves, and have internalized rage, about their lack of sex. When they enter in cell forums online, they gain the sense of belonging and validation they crave from others. Once they access these forums, they're in an echo chamber of the same inflated beliefs. And their anonymity means they have no accountability, so they can say what they think whether they mean it or not. As is often the case with extremists, impressionable people are radicalized in increments. Incels often have a dark triad of personality traits. Machiavellian, psychopathy, and narcissism. Incel perpetrators usually have an underlying bias, and feel they have legitimate reasons to kill. Their overinflated ego tells them they have an innate right to take their rage out on people. Although incel attacks are more frequent in America, the ideology is starting to spread worldwide. In the UK, at least two recent terror trials have had incel motivations. In 2019, a social worker and forensic psychiatrist, raised concerns about 22-year-old, Gabrielle Friel. It was reported that Friel expressed his love for other incels, and that he sympathized with their feelings. At Friel's home in Scotland, 
police found 15 steel-tipped crossbow bolts, several machetes, and a bulletproof vest. Friel was arrested on terrorism charges, and stood trial, in December 2020. He was found guilty of offenses under the Terrorism Act, and was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. From the outside looking in, Elliot Roger does not look like the typical incel. He had led a luxurious and privileged life, thanks to his father's job in the film industry. He drove around California in his expensive cars, and enjoyed the life most people could only dream of. However, Roger was spiraling into a deep depression, and took to expressing his feelings online. He shared increasingly disturbing rants, where he cited his victimhood, and the unfairness of his life as a virgin. He had written a 138-page manifesto, where he explained the reasons behind his future crimes. On 23rd of May, 2014, Elliot Roger went on a killing spree in Santa Barbara, California. It began at his apartment on Seville Road, where he stabbed three men to death. Directly after the stabbings, he purchased coffee, and was then seen sitting in his car, working on his laptop. It was at this point that Roger posted a video on YouTube, titled Retribution. In it, he said that women gave their sex, love, and affection to other men, but not to me, I'm still a virgin. He also emailed a copy of his manifesto to his mother, and therapist. Over the next hour, Roger drove around, firing at anyone he saw on the street, or in buildings. Three more people were killed, and many more were seriously wounded. At 9.35, police found Elliot dead inside his vehicle. He had committed suicide by gunshot. Inside his car, investigators found three pistols, knives, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Elliot Roger, who in life, was a pathetic outcast, who blamed everyone but himself, for his inadequacies, died as a martyr for the incel community. He is the archetypal poster boy for incels, and would, unfortunately, inspire other incels to follow his lead. On October 1, 2015, 26-year-old Christopher Harper Mercer, murdered nine fellow students, at Umpqua Community College in Oregon, before turning the gun on himself. Investigators would later find hundreds of documents on his computer, many of which praised, and condoned the acts of Elliot Roger. In his discovered manifesto, Christopher blamed his actions on women, and how they ignored and mistreated him. He wrote, Ever since I arrived in this world, I have been under siege, under attack from morons and idiots. Here I am, 26, with no friends, no job, no girlfriends, a virgin. I long ago realized that society likes to deny people like me these things. People who are elite, people who stand with the gods. On April 23, 2018, Alec Manassian deliberately drove his rented van through a busy shopping district in Toronto. Ten people were killed, and 16 more were seriously injured. Just minutes before the attack, Manassian posted to Facebook, writing, The incel rebellion has already begun. We will overthrow all the Chads and Stacys. All hail the Supreme Gentleman, Elliot Roger. Although Manassian's defense team argued he was autistic, and therefore not responsible for his actions, he was found guilty. On March 16, 2021, Robert Aaron Long, committed a killing spree, at three massage parlors in Atlanta. In all, he murdered eight workers, most of which were Asian women. After he was arrested, he blamed the attack of promiscuous women, and his own sexual lust for women, something which was not reciprocated. He told officers that he targeted the massage parlors because they were a temptation he wanted to eliminate. He is yet to be sentenced, but prosecutors are pushing for the death penalty. The only sliver of positivity that came from these horrendous attacks, is that we learn more and more about incels, and why they commit such sickening crimes. The more we can understand, the better equipped we are at preventing it. Investigators are now able to search online for incel forums, discussion boards, 
and personal social media posts, and work to apprehend the incel before they are able to act on their threats and delusions. Whilst the massacres that incels have committed are disgusting and vile, they are, at this moment, a tiny percentage of the entire incel population. Not all incels are actively looking to commit murder, most are just happy to spread their disgusting propaganda to other like-minded idiots online. We can hope that investigators can continue to shut down such websites, and continue to prevent possible massacres before they have the chance to come to fruition.